The scope of the project is to examine the natural history and ecological roles of Madagascar's largest endemic predator, which is an animal called the fusa. The fusa is one of the largest members of the mongoose family, which actually looks like a puma. It's the biggest endemic carnivore on Madagascar, and we examine its uh, general activity patterns, its behavior. We learn the natural history of the animal, and we use that information to springboard into ecological level questions, which can be used for positive conservation management. The fusa is Madagascar's largest carnivore. In North America, we have brown bears, we have black bears, we have foxes, we have mountain lions, we have bobcats. We have a whole variety of big carnivores to divide our folklore amongst. In Madagascar, there's one, and it's the fusa. It's the big bad wolf of the country, and it's also the top predator. It's, it's responsible for maintaining the balance of the entire ecosystem. Uh, in Madagascar, if you live a bad life, you'll come back as a fusa. If you live a good life, you'll come back as a lemur. The fusa has lots of legends and, and stories about it. Uh, it's, it's, it's bloodthirstiness and ferocity is, is unrivaled. It's, it's an animal with a, a, a mountain lion's tools, but a mongoose's attitude, which makes it a pretty extraordinary super predator. Madagascar is facing some pretty serious conservation issues right now. Madagascar is facing deforestation on a large scale. Uh, we work on the west coast in the dry deciduous forests of Madagascar. The eastern rainforests have about 9% of the original forest remaining. The dry forest has less than 3%. The fusa is essentially the poster animal, uh, the indicator species for the entire western biodiversity region. It's such a remote site that uh, we only take our cars in once in a field season. It's 120 kilometers away from the nearest pavement. Uh, we have to float across two rivers and we actually take our teams in by sea. It's a eight hour to three day, depending on the wind, sailboat ride in a hand, a homemade canoe in uh, uh, along the Malagasy coast. We then beach and hike across salt flats uh, to get to the edge of the forest and then we are working from the center of that forest. There's really nothing around for hundreds of kilometers and uh, it's a great physical and logistical challenge, but the biodiversity rewards, the species richness, the density and abundance of the carnivores we study and their prey is extraordinary. In addition, this is the only forest in Madagascar that is actively and generally on a wide scale regenerating. This is also the area where fusa is in the highest densities. So learning about this species and managing for this animal that requires the most amount of habitat of any of the other animals in the patches actually allows us to help control for an entire ecosystem system's balance.